What is up? I'm Wanted Turtle, and today we have another Celebrations opening. Uh, this set is just so much fun uh, to open. This video is sponsored by my patron, Ty. Ty, thanks so much for, uh, yeah, help, allowing me to break this on your behalf. Uh, in front of me, we have the contents of the Pikachu V Union playmat box. Um, those ones are pretty involved in opening. <laughs> There's like layers of plastic, but we got six Celebrations pack. Uh, three Sword and Shield, we'll do these at the end. We got the promos, the Jumbo, a Professor Burnett, which is kind of odd that that's included. Uh, we're also doing an ETB as well, so we got a lot of celebrations packs, 16 all together. We're gonna do all the Sword and Shield stuff after because, yes, this is the main, the main attraction. So let's jump into these six and then we'll crack the ETB. So best of luck, Ty. Um, yeah, tons of fun. I feel like, while well, off camera, I did manage to pull a Umbreon. Um, our pulls, I think, have been not the best. We've yet to get one of the original base set three starters, or base set starters, which is uh, a little disappointing. But uh, hey, let's go. Let's get one for Ty. We got Xerneas and Kite Ogre. All right, classic card right off the bat. I pull so many of these trainers. <laughs> Happy to pull any classic card, then not. But man, the trainers. Hey, we got Surfing Pikachu as well. I think like it's the the Team Rocket one is like uh, so many of them. We're gonna put the V's in a sleeve as well. And Imposter Professor Oak to start. There you go. This one looks pretty well centered. All right, on to pack number two. I've uh, gotten the hang of it. I do have scissors on standby in case it goes a little too slow. Four card packs are always a little, uh, be a little cautious when opening. Xerneas again into Ho-Oh. And I say this a lot, even the commons, they just look great. Ah, Palkia for pack number two into the full art. Regular Pikachu. Still a big fan of every card in this set i have to say although again i feel like there could have been some tweaks um you know i think i'm going to pick on don fan a lot but maybe it's because he was impactful in competitive play maybe that's the reason um but like umbreon umbreon gold stars in this set uh we could have replaced don fan prime with espion just to give us uh, spread the love. Hey, classic card number two. We got Cleffa into a Mew. Ooh, still looking for that gold Mew. Once again, centering on this one looks pretty good. All right. Classic card number two in the bag out of three packs. So quite a nice hit, nice hit ratio so far. All right, three packs remaining. Okay, I hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, yeah, hopefully everyone can find get their hands on some celebrations. I know it's a real, real tricky to especially find it at reasonable price. Um, you know, MSRP is the dream. We got a Groudon into Sogaleo. Yeah, I just feel like they did a great job. And um, you know, for only a four card pack, but uh, hey, you know what? In, in a set where even the commons, I think, are really nice to look at. Um, you know, what more could you ask for? They're all hollow. Uh, they, they include extra packs as well in their products. So I feel like all around... Oh, man! That is our third. And we got a Dark Gyarados. All right, I feel like we're slowly leveling up the quality of the classic cards. Where we start with the trainer, move to a baby. Baby Cleffa. And now on to the Dark Gyarados. And uh, by the end of the video, we're going to be pulling Charizards and Gold Stars. <laughs> Alright, this is the last Celebrations pack from the Pikachu V Union box. Alright, here we go. Look, my lighting's a little off. The Alga into a Zamazenta for the last pack. Actually for the first box. Now we're gonna crack open this ETB. And um, yeah, I did try the whole go to my local target. Um, had okay, actually, you know, with how, you know, how great this set is, 
had pretty good luck, found a couple ETBs. And, oh man, even the ETB looks great. You know, I feel like they did a great job with this uh, 25 Pikachu emblem. Just want to do this a little careful. I think one time when I took out like the insert, uh, the promo came out as well. So obviously don't want to damage anything, especially you, Mr. Gold Star Greninja. All right, let's put aside the five extra packs and we got 10 more celebrations. Here we go, I'm gonna go back to the scissors. I feel like it's a little bit faster. At least the way that I open them as uh, yeah, four card pack, gotta be careful. You know, some, can't, some card games have like the pull tabs. I feel like those are terrible. You can often easily damage the cards. Dialga into a Yveltal into another Pikachu. We'll sleeve these up later. I will say that the, I, well, I think that, so this ETB, like the centering isn't great. We'll see when we get a classic card. Um, but my like online pre, oh, Gyarados again. And uh, this one looks cent well centered. Oh, nice pack right there, look at that. But um, yeah, the ones from like Target, I feel like the centering is pretty good for the classic cards. All right, and yeah, we'll just leave you later. All right, come on. <laughs> we're getting stuck at the whatever level of like celebrations classic kits are. We're getting stuck at Gyarados. All right, let's see. Palkia Cosmoem. Oh, all right. Pikachu, birthday Pikachu. I do have one of these. Um, oh, oh my gosh, like these packs are pretty loaded. That uh that fourth slot is um you know, there's, there's, after, it doesn't take too long to collect all the Vs, but it's just fun. Man, these, this set is so, so, so much fun to open. Can't stress that enough. Alright, we got two classic cards, including the birthday Pikachu. That one I'm stoked about. Like, uh, I feel like that one's up there with the, like, the base set cards. Although, I've yet to pull a base set card. Come on, right here. Cosmoem. Two flying Pikachu. And even like those, uh, the Pikachu V cards, um, they're, they're silly, but they're fun, you know? If it was like in a regular set, I feel like it was a little, it would, they would be a little out of place. Um, but I just love that, you know, not everything's a reprint. So they, they took a spin on some classic promos of Flying Peach, Surfing Pikachu, then they turn into V, V Max, uh, with their own arts. Ooh, got of a pack right there with the Mew. I cannot say enough good stuff about this set. I'm trying to think, like, ooh, do I say it's as good as Hidden Fates? I'm not sure I'd put it... Oh, Garchomp Level X. I believe it's the first Garchomp I've seen uh, for, for my openings. Very nice. I feel like I forget about a lot of these. Um, I think at one point, I was thinking to myself, like, oh, how do you, not, how do you have, like, an anniversary set without a Mewtwo in it? I was like, oh wait, they do have a Mewtwo. It's like a Mewtwo EX or something. All right, we got three classic cards. All right, really happy with the results of this opening, but now let's get one of those basic classics. I feel like I've seen multiple YouTube videos where they just keep pulling Blastoise after Blastoise. I saw one on like TCA and then one uh, for Maximopo. It was like, it was like comical how many Blastoises they were finding. And it's, it's it's a very awkward situation where it's like, you know, that's gotta be like top three hits or something like that. And uh, so it's like, oh, oh my God, <laughs> this is the one that you really want. Oh, finally, we got ourselves the base set Charizard. Congratulations, Ty. Ah, oh, ooh, a little nick down there. I feel like top to bottom centering isn't perfect. Ah, Actually, it's pretty close. Um, I do feel like there's like a line up here, and then again, a little dot right there, but oh my gosh, there he is. Congratulations. Wow, this ATV is insane. That's our fourth classic card. We still got two packs left, so we're like hit, batting like 500 for classic cards, and so far, no trainers, all really good ones. And we're not even done. Congratulations, Ty. Whew. 
All right, two packs. I'm I'm a hundred percent, or I imagine Ty is hundred percent satisfied with the results so far. But we got two packs. Can we keep it going? All right, we got another classic card. We got that 50% ratio. All right, this is like hidden fates, man. All right, here comes Team Rocket. It is a trainer though, but hey, doesn't matter. This is like, I don't know, 10 out of 10 box. I mean, obviously it could get better. We could get like, I don't know, multiple Charizards, but as far as like reasonable expectations, this is a home run box. All right, last pack of celebrations. Here we go, Lugia. Hey, another Professor Oak as well. Wow, that was that was insanely good. Congratulations, Ty. Um, all right, let's just go through these. And if you're wa still watching, appreciate that. All right, battle styles. What do we want? Uh, we want a Alt Art Titar into a Mind Shell. Definitely familiar with that Pokemon. All right, Vivid. We all know what's in here. We got we got the V Union box here. We got the Vivid Voltage from that set. Let's get a V Max Pikachu. Exadrill into a Deancey. All right, Chillin Rain. I know Ty likes his Snorlaxes. That'd be a great thing to pull in this video. Aaron into uh, Bomb of Snow. Uh, obviously it's, you know, you only have a few packs out of these boxes, and I do kind of like that touch. Um, and I feel like the pull rate pulls are great, but again, you know, it's, you know, you got like one, one pack from each set. What do you, what do you expect? And then, you know, then it's like waiting to, then at the probably appropriate ratio of time, you do get a hit. Oh, nice hit there, right there with the Crobat. Right, we will put you in a sleeve, quick. Wow, this CTB was so good. Oh, finally! Oh man, and and we finally got one of those base set, um, you know, the, the starters, and we got the Charizard. That is perfect. Tapu Coco into a Mel Metal. Battle Styles. Ooh, there's that T-Tar we want. Although he's a uh, very caffeinated in that one. We want. The one is all done, passed out, taking a nap. Frillish into a Stojourner. Oh, one last thing I want to say about celebrations, and I'm probably going to make a point to mention this over and over again, is that, you know, there's there's V's, so like, let's say you're sticking the pack out of the box, you can tell from the side, like, oh, we got a V or something, but that's not what you're looking for. I really love that the hits, you know, they're not just full, you know, uh, full border, that kind of stuff. Blaziken, not bad. So non full art, non V, non V max kind of stuff is like the chase. Ooh, wouldn't mind the alt art of you. All right, wrapping up this video with a vivid voltage pack. Hi, once again, huge congratulations. That was a awesome opening. And again, appreciate your support on Patreon. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what if? Oh my gosh, actually, this ETB was so good. We had three hits out of the extra packs, including a full art Leon. Ooh, looks good too. Wow, amazing, amazing opening. Let's not forget the Pikachu V Union cards. Let's not forget about that Greninja Gold Star. But, uh, ooh, congrats, Ty. That's going to do it for me today. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.